Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. Today we're going to get started on a new achievement run here in Europa Universe Alice 4. This is going to be a long achievement, so hang in there. <laughs> it's going to take some time. We're going to go for Poland Can Into Space and Winged Hussars. Now this achievement requires you to get all the techs all the way to level 32, which is as high as they can go. And with recent changes in the game, which cause techs to cost more over time, this is going to take a lot more points than it normally would have. Later techs, tech 20, tech 25, tech 30, they cost more than 600 points. That's one of the recent changes in EU4. So this achievement has become harder over time. And I like that. I like that it's not something super simple anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and put Iron Man on. Random New World, I I don't really care. We'll just, doesn't matter. We're not going to go to the New World anyway. So let's hop in game. Oh, we're going to need a name for this. Poland achieves. Let us go. So we start out with two vassals, right? We have Mazovia and Moldavia as vassals. Does Mazovia have any cores? No. Does Moldavia have any cores? No. Neither of them have any cores. We're just going to annex both of them, get them out of the way. Uh, the only thing I like about Moldavia is they are Romanian culture, which means they're the same culture as Wallachia. But again, recent changes to the game means that Moldavia won't buy them unless they have claims or cores on them, which they don't. So we might as well just annex those vassals. When did we get those vassals? Well, it looks like we've had them for a long enough time that we can just annex them whenever. Okay. So opening game maneuvers. Well, let's take a look at our relations first. Those are our only two relations. Okay. So we currently have no relationship with Lithuania. Hmm. Well, we're going to want that union with Lithuania, so I guess we should get a marriage, huh? We currently have Interregnum, yeah. Same dynasty as Mazovia and Silesia. Piast. We have the Piast dynasty right now, okay. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get that marriage with Lithuania. That's probably a day one thing that we want to do. And then we have to see, who do we want as an initial ally? Could go for someone like Muscovy. Um, they're going to be the powerhouse, most likely, over here in the Russian area. Or we could go for someone in the HRE, like uh, Austria or Bavaria, Savoy. Uh, even Denmark might be nice as an ally. He leads those unions up in the north. Uh, or France might be a good ally. France actually might be a really good ally. Or even the Ottomans. They don't like us right now. Why not? Oh, we were at war. Oh, that's right. We have a truce, don't we? Yeah. Five-year truce starting today. Okay. Check player decisions for personal union with Lithuania. Uh, oh, there we go. Personal union with Lithuania. We have to have Diplo points 100 and stability of 1. Oh, well, we can do that. So just not spend Diplo points and not spend Admin points. What do we need for Stability 1? 100 points for Stability 1. Okay, well that's nice. It's just a decision. Okay, and then to form the Commonwealth, we need Warsaw, Danzig, Marienburg, and we also have to have Lithuania as our, our little bitch. And we have to annex Mazovia. Okay. Interesting. Form an alliance with Hungary. Remind the knights of their duty. What's that? Oh, make the Teutons a vassal. Oh, we should definitely do that. Let's take that mission. Do they have any allies? Nope. <laughs> What's their military like? They have 9,000 units, whereas we have 12,000. Okay. Does anyone hate me? No one has any rivals yet. We should probably rival them to see who else would rival them. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, Austria or France. I'm trying to decide who I want as my ally. Austria already likes me, which I guess is a good sign. And we could use them as a buddy in beating up Bohemia, maybe. Or beating up Hungary might be nice. But, um... <clears throat> Yeah, well, well, damn. <laughs> um, sure, let's start off with that maneuver. We'll do that, and then we'll see what happens. Our merchants are in Kiev and Krakow. Our capital, Krakow, is a center of trade. We own 33% of it, and we're getting 1.5 ducats out of it. That's fine. And our other merchant is in Kiev. And he's pushing towards Kroko. Okay, that's fine for now. That's, that'll be our initial merchants. Not a big deal. Um, we're going to have to deal with the Baltic at some point. But uh, it looks like Kroko is a good spot to keep our merchants for now. Okay, armies. How many units can we have? We can have 17. Well, let's build some units. We have 8 and 4. Hmm, we cannot have more than 60% cav. Alright, just get me some regular soldiers then. Ugh, oh my god, <laughs> two pip soldiers, that's just awful. There you go. And we could get some advisors. We have uh, four ducat income. How much do advisors cost? One ducat a month. Alright. Can we get some discipline? Now we're talking. Let's do that. Better relations? Maybe. Maybe. Um, prestige and production or missionary strength. Do we have any religious conversion that needs to be done? We do. Podolia and Ruthenia are the wrong religion. Okay. Well, would a little bit... Would a missionary advisor help? Let's see. Minus four... Yeah. With a missionary advisor, we would actually be able to convert this just very slowly. What about this one? No. We can't do this one yet. Okay. So... Not No real point to get the advisor for now. We're going to have some religious problems for a while. And there is no revolt risk guy, unfortunately. I would go for a revolt risk guy for sure. But uh, he's not available. So, um, hmm. Yeah, let's just get a prestige guy. That's fine. Prestige is always good. And we only start with nine prestige, so we could use a little more. Uh, let's put the speed up to five and unpause. And let's watch all the alliances roll in. Did we get our alliance? We did. Okay. And the Teutons did not get any allies. They did set us as a rival. Uh, we should probably do the same to them, you little dick. And we want to see who we want to do with our, our other guy. I think we'll just go for an alliance with Lithuania. Okay, they allied Livonian order. That's fine. We've got to wait a few days, don't we? All right, let's start getting relations up with Mazovia because we need to annex them soon. Same thing with Moldavia. Don't need these vassals lying around. I mean, they do provide extra units. They have nine extra units and some boats, so that's nice. And they give us a little bit of income, but annexing them is just part of our progress. You know what I think I'll do? I think I'll keep the Ottomans happy for... Well, no, maybe not. Maybe we should go for the Ottomans, like, early. While they're still trying to group up their units. That might be good. Well, not group up their units, but group up their lands. I bet we could beat the piss out of them if we get them before they get fully unified. If we ally with the Mamluks... You know what? Let me set them as a rival. And let me ally with the Mamluks. Get relations up here. This is going to be a sneaky maneuver. I hope this works. Because the Mamluks are, are... They're usually the one that loses, right? But if we help them, maybe we can win against the Ottomans. Who knows? Uh, Muscovy might be someone to improve relations with. But first off, let's get our alliance over here. Oh, he's offering it to me. Perfect. Thank you, Lithuania. I don't have to spend my uh, diplomat on it. So our units are about halfway built. If we declared war today, who... Oh, we can't. We have a regency. Oh, we have to get rid of our regency. That's what it is. So we can't declare any wars yet anyway. So we might as well just sit on our hands for a bit. Uh, let me start on... Well, no. Let's make, let's make Austria like us. 
Do I want a marriage, though? That's the question. Sure. Why not? Do we have any papal points? Not really. Okay. Okay. Now, do I want to deal with France? or No, I think we'll just annex people for now. Let's annex people for now. Um... Hmm. Alright, so we gotta wait for some points to roll in. That's fine. Units are building. And we're now at our max. How many people can we handle in Croco? 22. Perfect. Everyone's sitting in Croco. What's our revolt risk like? 2.2%. It's not that bad. I think we'll just ignore them. Okay, group up. Army is ready to go. We have no generals. Ooh. And we have no tradition either. Oh my goodness. <laughs> kind of a rough start to have no tradition and no generals, but... And we have no king to convert either. Wow. I guess what we'll do is we'll split up our armies and we'll group them up with Lithuania. Because Lithuania... He does not have any generals either. Oh my goodness. Nobody has any generals. Oh wow. <laughs> Okay, well, there is that. Okay. So we have a CB on the Teutons, right? Yep. Subjugation. Good. I love that CB. Alright, so we gotta wait for the points to roll in. We need 100 Diplo and 100 Admin before we can... Um... France declared war on Castile. Over Navarra? Yep. So the King of Navarra just died. And believe it or not, France and Castile are going to war over who gets Navarra. That's hilarious. Someone told me about this. I haven't seen it before, but here it is. It just happened at the start of the game. Oh, that's so stupid. But there you go. Stupid succession war. So dumb. Oh, we can invest in a cardinal? Okay. Um, go for this guy. We probably won't get him, but it's worth a shot. Scotland and Ireland getting along as usual. Someone's got to defend against England, right? Teutons are fabricating claims on us. That's cute. Alright, we almost have enough points. The problem we have is our interregnum has no points coming in. So all of our points are coming directly from just our normal 333 power that you get for being a country in the in the western area. Actually, we're eastern still. Same sort of thing. Uh, can we afford an advisor? Yep. Do it. More points. We need 100 to get our, our stability up and 100 of these to hit the button. All right. Come on then, I shall hit the button. Eventually. Uh, let's keep investing in this guy. Just keep him in our pocket. Okay, almost there. Come on. No, I just need stability. Relations improved with the Teutons. It doesn't matter. We're going to declare war on them. Stability up. Nice. 
Okay, now we just need uh, Diplo points of 100. Okay. Come on, give me the Diplo points. Lithuania, I mean, uh, the Ottomans and next uh, Albania. That's not a big surprise, is it? Really? <laughs> Novgorod and Muscovy went to war. Okay. Lithuania has taken down some rebels, or trying to. Yeah, they got them. Alright, four more months. Three more months. It feels like an eternity. God, next month. Got it. Okay. There we go. Form union with Lithuania. The death of the childless king Vladislav III on the battlefield of Varna split the union between Poland and Hungary and left Poland in an interregnum. His brother Kazimierz, the Grand Duke of Lithuania, was asked by the Polish nobility to assume the throne, but found their conditions unacceptable. In 1447, after three years of negotiations, Kazimierz was finally crowned King of Poland in his own terms, as ruled, and he ruled both kingdoms as a union. Yay! Okay, so we now have the Polish-Lithuanian Union. The next step is the Commonwealth, which is, let's see, Admin Tech 10. That's going to take some time. We have to get Warsaw, Danzig, Marienburg, and we have to annex Mazovia. That's it. Danzig and Marienburg. Okay, we can do that. Hmm. Finally, we have a king. Oh, our heir is weak claim. Ew. That's going to screw our legitimacy. I wonder if we can get him killed. It might be a girl, though. If it's a girl, we can't make her a leader. Ugh. Oh well, we'll do what we can. In the meantime, keep investing in this clown. And uh, we have our union. That means we can declare war now. Um, should we wait a little bit, though? Let's see, how many units are we going to be up against? Livonian order. 8,000. And the Teutons have, what, 15? 11. So, 19,000 total. We can handle that. Give me a diplomat. I got wars to clear, damn it. Oh, Austria wants to help me fight the Teutons. Sounds good to me. Let's go straight to the capital. And uh, we can use our king now, or we can get a general. Uh, I don't want to be in a regency, so we probably shouldn't use our king. You know what we'll do is we'll go pick up a general from uh, our vassal, and we'll use him. we we'll put the speed down to three. Let's get this started. Come on, dude. I need you to follow me. He's not following me. God damn it. Well, give me a general. 2-2. Two, two, not bad. see if people can come help us. It looks like Lithuania is willing to come, but they're just being sluggish. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we got this. Nice. Let me leave. It's a level two. We'll leave two guys. I assume he's running all the way to Mamel. Oh, he got the end of the month bonus. Little pussy. Oh, come on, Lithuania. There we go. Nice. Alright, so next stop is going to be Livland. I want to see if we can... Um, Vassalize Livonian order. Probably not, but their base tax is so small, it may be possible. Let's see. 2, 5, 6, 9, 12, 13, 15, 16. 16 base tax. We may be able to vassalize them. I don't think so, but it's worth a shot. If we can, that'd be great. Oh, we have a diplomat not doing anything. Uh, psh, go to Moldavia. Hmm, Bohemia seems to have rivaled us. Whoa! Sweden rivaled us, and Hungary too. Huh. We might, we might put Hungary in there, who knows. Oh, we just crushed their army. That's it. Will they let us walk around, or will they stop us with boats? Looks like they're going to let us walk. Okay. Hmm, no morale. Can't move. Darn it, I need to get to the capital. Pomerania declared war on the Teutons. Uh, that means we need to get some units to Danzig before Pomerania gets there. Allied with Bohemia. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with them at some point. Shoot. I need to get to Danzig. But I can't. Unless I get some mercs. Please, Mercs, hurry. Oh God, here comes Pomerania. No, we're going to be too late. Fuck me. Yep, it's too late. Pomerania's already there. Maybe they'll chase the army. Oh, please go chase the army. Then I can get Danzig while you're chasing the army. Please... Oh no, he caught the army. Fuck. What a waste. God, that sucks. So now we're going to have to fight Pomerania for Danzig. I didn't want to have to do that. Hmm. 
Oh well, why don't we call that an episode here? Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. We're off to an okay start. Not the best, but... Um, I don't know, maybe we can vassalize them during the war, and then maybe we'll join their war against um, Pomerania. That'd be nice, we could vassalize Pomerania. That would be really cool. If we can vassalize them during this war, we might join their war against Pomerania. Oh. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.